After the warehouse, let's move towards the Acropolis. The first thing you come across after the warehouse is a public building just opposite to it. As you can see that the superstructure of the building had completely disappeared due to the natural calamities like multiple floods and storms. But you can still experience the city peripherals and dock as they are standing still. The strength imposed due to the systematic construction and maintenance measures taken at that time were the showstoppers here. The ruins of this place clearly leave a mark of fire-dried bricks, lime and sand mortar. But there were many signs and out of which, the archaeologists said that the city had experienced devastating floods on several occasions. But the proper cause of the structural damages was not addressed. The overconfidence of the inhabitants made them blind towards the proper construction planning to keep the city intact even after floods. And the result was the destruction of a civilization. In the ruins of Acropolis, there is another thing that can catch your attraction. It is the system of underground drainage. It is the most unique aspect of the Indus Valley civilization. You can see the drains properly rooted without polluting the city. The main connection of the drainage sewer line was 1.5 meters deep and 0.9 meters across. It is connected to many north-south and east-west sewers. Look at the bricks used for this drainage. These were smoothened and joined together seamlessly. All the openings were arranged in such a way that the drops used to come out of it in regular intervals. This made it work like an automatic cleaning device. If you take a closer look of the drainage system, you might find wooden screen at the end of the drains. It was used to filer the solid wastes and refrain the drains from blockage. 